We've got Italian, baby! Woo! Yes, my Gs. People are always saying, why don't more takeaways do home-cooked food? Well, I've got you a little hidden gem here. It's called Camella's Cucina Italiano. It's based in a terraced house in Duckingfield. It's collection or delivery. I don't know how good my camera is at the front, but if you want to get on the website, scan this and it'll take you there, baby. So yeah, it's a family run business. What was set up in 2020 during COVID. They've got a five star hygiene rating, big up. And everything's made fresh, including the pasta and pizza dolls. You can order on the website or through the Facebook page. So I opted for the traditional beef lasagna and Leah went for the aubergine bake. It has got another Italian name, as you can see, but I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. All the ingredients and allergy information are labelled on each dish. Now here's the beef lasagna. Just how incredible does that look? It's homemade pasta sheets with minced beef, Italian pork sausage, in a red wine tomato sauce. It's got chopped boiled eggs and plenty of cheese. Lovely jubbly. Now this is Leah's, the aubergine bake, which I can't pronounce in Italian. I'm not even going to attempt to. Oh, sack it, it's the melanzani a pamiangani, I think. Anyway, it's stacked slices of aubergine fried in an egg batter layered with sauce and plenty of cheese. With the smells coming from these dishes, I actually thought I was in Rome for a minute. Until I looked out the window and seen it was absolutely pissing it down. Whoa, oh, this looks belting. Ruin the presentation a bit, knocking it on the plate, but it doesn't matter. Oh my god. It looks amazing. What's yours like? Well nice. Have you tried it yet? Yeah. I mean mine's like aubergine instead of pasta. So I've got the traditional beef lasagna. Italian homemade cookie. Well that's well nice. Proper cheesy. They make all the pasta sheets themselves as well. Everything's all made. Oh, it's stunning. It's so good. This is right up my street. Oh, look at the cheese pot. Hey. Mm. I wish more takeaways did stuff like this. Proper homemade cooking. So much better. God, look at the size. It's massive. <laughs> you get loads. I mean, you've kind of made it look like a baby food now. I know, I've ruined it, the presentation, the way I poured it out, but I'm not bothered, I'm here for the taste. Mm. <laughs> Lots of basil, how we like Beautiful. it. Beautiful. I think this is the first lasagna I've ever had without having a garlic bread with it. And I'm not bored of it, that shows how good it is. Less calories too, winner, winner. Different to any lasagna I've ever had. Never tasted one like it before. You know what the best thing about Carmel's is? You get a takeaway and you don't feel bad for it because it's proper home cut food. No what well, there is a bit of washing up, but you know what I mean? Two plates, two forks, two knives. It's not like cooking with loads of pots and pans, is it? So, big up every time. That's how much she likes it. She never licks a plate. She has to go on you for doing it. So we've got a homemade tiramisu, made with love. It's, look how good that looks. What a way to end a belting meal. You need a sweet after savoury, don't you? Oh my God. Oh my God. Nice. Oh my goodness. It's like a pimped up trifle. How good is that? Wow. It tastes so fresh. Tell it's been made with some heart and love, Italian style. Anything with strawberries is a winner for me. I love it. Reminds me of like something mm. my nan would make. What? What? Eat. That was absolutely perfect. 
bravo, despacito. Um, oh no, that's Spanish. This out of this. Big up. Every time.